Hi friend, welcome, I'm Laya. Today's class is a short break to do any time that you want to pause. It's perfect for the afternoon, but also you could do it in the morning or the evening when you still have things to do and you feel like you just want to settle in. Sometimes only 20 minutes can be enough, so I hope that you enjoy this practice. to your yoga mat to a comfortable seated position you could just do sit cross-legged like myself rolling your shoulders move your neck just give yourself a moment to arrive into the space wherever you are and eventually bring yourself to stillness softening your gaze down toward the ground or maybe you choose to close your eyes listen to the sounds around you for a moment Recognizing that the world is still moving, that everything is still happening, and that you are choosing to remove yourself from it all just for a little while to recalibrate and take care of yourself. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Two more like that. Inhale, fill up your lungs. Exhale, relax and soften. One more inhale. And exhale. On your next inhalation, lift your shoulders up toward your ears. And on your exhale, roll them back and down, finding more space for your neck. Again, inhale, roll your shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back and down. One more, breathe in. And breathe out, let your shoulders relax, your neck lengthen, inhale, take your arms out and up, unite your palms overhead, and on your exhalation, draw your hands together in front of your heart, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your elbows, and letting your fingertips press toward one another. Notice the sensation here. One more inhale, and exhale. On your next inhalation, open your arms out to the sides, lift your chest, open up. And on your exhalation, take your right arm over the left, give yourself a little hug and curl in. Inhale again, open up, lift your chest. Exhale to round, giving yourself a hug, taking the other arm over this time. Inhale, open up. Exhale this time, lower your left hand to the floor or if you have a block, perhaps you bring your hand to the block and then reach your right arm overhead, opening up to the right side body. Breathe in, breathe out. Back through center on your inhalation, take your arms out to the side, and on your exhalation, this time your right hand comes down and your left arm scoots and opens overhead. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, bring yourself through center, reach both arms up, this time interlace your fingers and flip your palms to face up toward the ceiling, finding a little bit of space here. Your elbows can absolutely stay soft or you can stretch them out, whatever allows you to breathe better. Inhale. And on your exhalation, release your wrists and make circles with your wrist as you come down. And you can do this as slow or as fast as you want. And then bring your arms back up, doing the circles the other way. Inhale. And exhale, go down, switching the direction. Release your hands on your lap or your knees. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder and stay here or extend your left arm to the side to find a little more space. Breathe in. Breathe out, release your hand, neck back to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, take the other ear to the shoulder and stay or extend your right arm out to the side this time. Breathe in. Let it go. Release your arm, bring your neck to neutral. Lean back a little, bring your feet in front of you to give yourself a little hug. You can relax your head down to your knees and sway. Noticing how you feel right now, physically, mentally, energetically. 
One more inhale and exhale. Lift your forehead back up and start to bring yourself to a tabletop position. As always, you can keep your props nearby just in case you need them. And as you come into your tabletop, bring your hands underneath your shoulders with your fingers spread wide, or you can make fists with your hands, whatever feels best for your wrists. And from here, start to create some movement with your body. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. So maybe you take circles with your hips. Maybe you choose to arc and round your spine. Just notice the sensations that arise in the body as you let yourself take a break and pause. If you're taking circles, make sure that you go both ways, yeah? One more breath. And then slowly pausing at the center, finding yourself stable in your tabletop. Tuck your toes under and send your hips back toward the heels as little or as much as you want until you find sensation through the soles of your feet. For some, it may feel kind of nice to sway a little side to side and notice how the soles of the feet awaken. Or maybe you bring your hands to your thighs and lift your torso up and the stretch may deepen there. One more breath wherever you are, inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly bring yourself back to your tabletop, lift your toes and then roll your ankles one way and then the other. Lower your, the tops of your feet back to the floor and on your inhalation, let your body shift forward, bringing yourself to a knee plank and then slowly lower yourself down to your abdomen, making a pillow with your hands and resting the forehead down for a moment. Maybe you allow your hips to move a little side to side. Maybe you just allow yourself to rest and surrender. What could you use a little bit more of in this break today? Whether it's the beginning of the day, the middle, the end, can you consider that this is a space to recalibrate? Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, squeezing your elbows straight back. And on your inhalation, slowly peel your chest off the floor. It doesn't have to go very high. And on the exhalation, slowly come back down. Two more like that. Inhale, slowly press up. Exhale, come down. One more, breathe in. Breathe out this time, bring your hips back toward your heels, big toes together, knees wide, bringing yourself to child's pose. And again, consider, do I want to be here in stillness or do I rather rock side to side as I inhale and exhale? One more breath, deep into the back body, inhale and exhale. Press yourself back up to your tabletop, aligning your knees underneath your hips. And on your inhalation, send your right leg behind you. You can flex your foot here. Maybe you take a moment to move your ankle in circles one way and then the other. And on your exhalation, draw your right knee toward your chest and step your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Now, if you have blocks, you could bring both blocks on the inside of the foot and then your left leg could extend farther back here. Lifting your chest up and noticing how you feel. And I invite you to stay in stillness or on your inhalation, press down into your right foot and lift your chest a little bit more. And on your exhalation, send your hips back and extend your right leg any amount. It doesn't have to straighten all the way for any reason, unless the reason is that you really want to and that it serves you. On your inhalation, shift forward again, plant your foot, bend your knee, lift your chest. And on the exhale, send your hips back and extend your right leg any amount. Notice that if you flex your toes, the sensation may shift. One more, inhale, take it all forward, open through the front body. And exhale, take it back, extending your right leg any amount. Shift forward once again, press into your right foot. Move your left hand a little further out. And on your inhalation, send your right arm all the way up, circling it as you turn your right toes to the right. Your right hand may land on your hip and maybe your gaze goes over your right shoulder. If you want to create more sensation onto your left quad, maybe you start to bend your left knee, but that is a Charlie horse prone shape. So keep that in mind and consider, does that serve me? Or do I rather keep my leg extended? One more breath, inhale. 
Exhale, take both hands back down in front of you. Take your right leg next to your left. Find your tabletop. Move your hips for a moment. Breathe in and breathe out. Now this time, take your left leg behind you as you inhale. And on your exhalation, hands to your blocks or the floor. Left foot to the outside of your hands. Press down through your foot. Take a moment to readjust until you find yourself comfortable here. And maybe you breathe in stillness. Or if you rather, on your inhalation, you continue to open up the front body, lifting your gaze. And on the exhalation, you start to send your hips back and extend your left leg any amount. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale to shift back. One more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. Shift forwards again. Move your right hand a little further out to the right. And then on your inhalation, send your left arm all the way up and around. Follow with the gaze if you'd like as you turn your left toes a bit to the left. And your arm can circle all the way until it lands on your left hip. Notice if you're collapse, collapsing onto your right shoulder, press your hand a little bit more and become more stable. And again, if you want to bend your right knee, go for it. But be mindful of why and how. One more breath. And then slowly releasing your left hand back down, bringing your left leg next to the right and finding a child's pose. Or if you rather, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back and bring yourself to downward facing dog, creating this inverted V position with your body. Feel free to remain in stillness or maybe you pedal out your legs if you're in downward dog bending one knee and extending the opposite heel to the floor. If you're in tabletop, consider any movement that you'd like to do. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your inhalation, gaze forward. And on the exhalation, start to take steps toward the top of the mat. Bring your feet parallel to one another and then your hands to your shins. And on your inhalation, lift your chest halfway. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold and relax your head down. Maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you sway back and forth. But can you notice where you are right now? How it feels like to be in your body after all the things you've done today and before all the things you have left to do. Can this be a moment in time when you're just here. Inhale and exhale. Press evenly through your feet and on your inhalation rise up, take your arms overhead, grab your right wrist with your left hand and then bump your hips to the right and your arms to the left, stretching out through the side body. Inhale, come back to center as you switch wrists and on your exhalation you take it to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward. Start to take your hands toward your blocks or the floor. And heel toe your feet out until they're a little bit wider than your hips. Press through the outer edges of the feet and energize through your legs. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly rise up. Now turn your right toes toward the front of the mat. Inhale, open your arms out to the sides. And on your exhalation, start to bend into your right knee as little or as much as you want, keeping your shoulders and your hips um, stacked over one another. Inhale, stretch your right leg, take your arms up, turn your toes forward again, hands to your hips. Now turn your left toes toward the back of the mat, open up through your arms, inhale. And on your exhalation, start to bend your left knee. Notice it doesn't have to bend a lot, just enough to find the sensation that you're seeking right now. One more breath. And on your inhalation, extend your leg, take your arms up, turn your toes forward. Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart as you let your chest melt down, down, down. Hands will rest on your blocks or the floor as you relax your head. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, heel toe your feet toward one another once again. Bring them parallel to one another. Inhale, rise, stretch up. 
Exhale, fold forward. Take your hands to your blocks or the floor. Frame your right foot. Step your left foot all the way back and pivot your left heel to the ground. So you find the same stable foundation here that you did a moment ago. On your inhalation, cartwheel your arms all the way up and around. And on the exhalation, perhaps you bend into your right knee a bit more, feeling the strength of your body, feeling the flow of your breath and your energy. One more inhale and exhale. Cartwheel your hands down to your blocks or the floor, square your hips to the top of the mat and then step to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Rise up as you breathe in, stretch, find length into the body, perhaps take a gentle back bend, and exhale, fold again, take it all the way down. This time, step your right foot back, pivot your right heel to the ground, and take a moment to find your stance. On your inhalation, rise, cartwheeling your arms up and around. And on the exhale, settle into your warrior two a little bit more. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, cartwheel your hands down, square your hips, right foot steps forward. Now bend both knees and start to lower your hips down toward the heels. You could use your blocks here and keep them next to you for balance. You could play with lifting one hand and then the other. If there's a wall near you, you can also use a wall. Or maybe you start to play with bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Even if that implies a lot of wobbling, if it implies perhaps falling, consider that maybe this is just a moment for play. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, let your bum lower down to the floor. And just like we did a little bit ago, give yourself a little hug, sway side to side. And I invite you to tell yourself something nice, like well done for X, Y, or Z. And if it's difficult to think of anything, just congratulate yourself on taking one breath after another. One more deep breath in and out. Begin to extend your left leg out to the side and bring your right foot to the middle. Your left leg does not need to be extended. It can be absolutely as bent as you want it to be. You could even use a block underneath for more support if you want it to. And then on your inhalation, reach your arms up. And on the exhalation, twist your torso toward the extended leg and let yourself fold. You can take your hand on top of the leg. You can also use your blocks, framing the leg and then letting yourself fold. Draw your right rib cage down. Maybe take your gaze a little bit toward the left. One more breath here. And then slowly rise up, bring your right hand behind your right hip, left arm overhead, and on your inhalation, perhaps your hips lift as you open up into this variation of well thing. Inhale, exhale, come all the way down, and switch sides. So this time your left foot comes in, your right leg extends, and as always, if you already did that side, that's okay, do the other. And then taking a moment here to lift your arms up as you breathe in and find stability, and as you breathe out, twist toward your right leg, and let yourself hold over it, taking time to find what the pose needs on this side for you. Notice where you can soften. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, lift yourself up, left hand behind your left hip, right arm overhead and stay or start to lift your hips and stretch. Breathe in, and then breathe out, come back down. Come into a comfortable seat. Feel free to sit cross-legged or in any other way that you would like. And on your inhalation, take your arms out, just like we did at the beginning. And on the exhale, take your right arm over the left, hands toward opposite shoulders here, allowing your elbows to lift away from the chest if you want to create a little bit more sensation or maybe you start to bring the backs of the hands or the palms of the hands together. You can let yourself remain in stillness or maybe you create tiny circles with your elbows one way and then the other. And then release, open your arms wide, inhale, lift your gaze. 
Exhale, this time left arm over, right hand store your shoulders, lift your elbows. Feel free to stay here if the sensation is sufficient today. Or perhaps you start to explore eagle arms or creating a little bit of circles with your elbows. Switch direction. And release. Shake your arms. Shake your neck. And you can do this seated if you want to, but you could also do this standing up. So if you want to stand up, we're going to do just a little bit of shaking before we finish. So again, you could do this seated or standing, but take a moment to just bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips and let yourself move a little side to side. Feeling your feet on the earth. Feeling your legs, feeling the support beneath you. And then maybe you start to let movement arise. Maybe it is the shoulders or the arms. Maybe you start to shake your wrists. Maybe you start to do little shakes with your legs. But notice your breath. Maybe you let it get more dynamic. Or perhaps for you it gets slower. Just shake it up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, slow down the movement, let it pause. And if you're standing, bring yourself back down to seat, or you could bring yourself to lie down on your back. Maybe you stretch your arms and your legs in traditional Shavasana, or you could bring your feet to the floor and let your knees rest around one another. It's whatever feels best for you. Take a moment to adjust to being in stillness now. Noticing the breath, slowing down. Connect to your heartbeat. And just for the next few moments, see if you can let yourself relax and let go. There's nothing else you need to do. Nowhere else you need to be. you to take a few more minutes in stillness if you have them today otherwise start to move your fingers maybe your toes gently moving your head from side to side stretching out if that feels good even yawning and then slowly roll to either side if you're lying down bringing yourself up to a seated position, hands can rest on your lap or your knees. Or maybe it resonates with you to bring one hand to your heart and the other hand to your abdomen. As you take a moment to remain suspended in this pause between the past and the future, right in the present moment. A deep breath in through your nose, filling up your belly, your rib cage, your chest. And let go. Bring your palms together in front of your heart and bow your head, taking a moment of gratitude to yourself, to your body, and this time that you gave yourself to take a break and love on yourself a little. Thank you. Once you're ready, you can open your eyes again.